I'll show you how to make the uh, protein Easter eggs. It's quite easy. You just need to make sure you get um, an Easter egg mould, which is silicon. I got this for 99p from Home Bargains. So I'm using lint, 85% cocoa. I've melted 100 gram bar. And then the next step is to uh, line the silicon mould. Okay, once you've filled in each of the moulds with the chocolate, you just need to pop it in the fridge. But what I do is I sporadically take it out every sort of five, 10 minutes and just make sure that the chocolate is evenly spread around. Um, so I just keep turning it around. Otherwise you'll find that all the chocolate will sink to the bottom and there will not be much around the edge. Okay, so while the chocolate is setting in the fridge, uh, we can make the cream filling for the protein cream eggs. Uh, it's a very um, easy filling. I've used it quite a few times for a few of, the, of my baking recipes. Uh, so I've been using fat-free yogurt, um, which is approximately six dessert spoonfuls, which is uh, 140 grams. And then I've added two scoops of the Protein Lifestyle Whey Protein Concentrate Vanilla Flavour. That's about 50 grams of whey. So mix that all together. And then just to thicken it up so it has a much more sort of gooey consistency, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of uh, the xanthan gum, which is a gluten-free thickener. Okay, so once your chocolate is set in the mould, we're ready to fill in with the eggy filling. So I'm using the protein yoghurt mix, first of all. Put a great big dollop in. And that's like the egg white. And then I'm using, uh, which is low sugar, or sugar-free orange jelly. You can make your own, um, or you could, if you wanted to be a little bit more indulgent, use like apricot jam or something like that. Uh, but to keep the carb level low, I'm going for the sugar-free jelly. And then just put a little blob in for the yolk. And then do the same with all of the moulds. And then we're ready for the tricky part of tipping it out. Right, so we're ready to tip them out. So this is a little bit tricky and the chocolate can sometimes crack. So I'm just going to go for it. Tip them straight over. I'm using some greaseproof paper. And then it's just a case of teasing the mould around the chocolate without pushing too hard as you take them out. So far, so good. Okay, once you've tipped them all out, if you have had any uh, that have damaged, you can fix them with uh, some melted chocolate, just kind of stick the pieces back in. Uh, you can either just eat them like this, or if you want to sandwich them together, then all you need to do is put them together so that the lines meet up, and then get a ready bit of melted chocolate, and literally just paste it on like a glue around the edge and then pop it back in the fridge to set. So if you like my protein Easter egg recipe, check out the Protein Lifestyle YouTube channel and have a look at all my other baking recipes.